Hi, I am Kimber, and this is Will. We are Crossfire Co-op, and we're here at Silicon Valley Comic Con with none other than David J. Peterson. The one and only. Hello. So David was kind enough to offer to speak with us today uh, about lots of different things, and we know he's got some exciting projects. First of all, I wanted to show you his book, The Art of Language Invention. David, uh, for people who may not be familiar with, their, with your book, could you give a brief synopsis? Yeah, basically The Art of Language Invention uh, gives you a, a kind of a soft introduction to uh, linguistics, uh, but also how to create a language. And then in addition to that, it gives you some background on some of the projects that I've worked on, and you know, specifically like details about how I created certain things for Dothraki and High Valyrian on Game of Thrones, and then Arathia and Castathon on Defiance. Uh, now, a lot of you know that he uh, created the language of Dothraki, and you know there's a living language Dothraki book that you <laughs> That's have. True. Are there any plans for High Valyrian? Uh, nothing that I can talk about, okay. but like I hope so. I think that there really should be, mm -hmm. but uh, it's it's kind of not even in my hands. I gotta kind of hope for the best. You know, I would love to see I would love to see a living language for every single one of the languages I've done. Be cool. Living awesome. language tree, get us one. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about your upcoming movie? Uh, oh God, no! Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> I've done languages for two movies that are coming out, and so I thought, oh shoot, what do you know about? <laughs> no, okay. So um, can you talk about those? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. So the uh, Conling in the Art of Crafting Tongues. It's a uh, it's a documentary about uh, language creators. Really, and there's uh, you know there's interviews with uh, with famous language creators like you know Paul Frommer who did not be for Avatar and. Um, and uh, my girlfriend yeah, created Klingon, but there are also uh, tons of interviews with people that have just been creating languages for fun uh, for years. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm and really, really, really proud of that, that, that um, people are able to uh, really see the community for what it is and see what uh, some of the amazing stuff that Conlangers have done the world over. It's awesome. I know in your in your book, The Art of Language Invention, you do mention about how you got started with conlanging. And I'm just curious, you mentioned about like how there was this listserv and this community where people could read other people's languages and kind of network and communicate. Is there a community right now that people can go to like that? That same community is still in existence. All right, yeah, there you go. I'm still a part of it. But actually, yeah, now there's dozens, mm -hmm. dozens. Yeah, if you go to uh, the Language Creation Society's webpage, conlang.org, um, they have a uh, they have a thing that will link to basically every community that we know about, every community everywhere on the internet. Whether and there are some on Facebook. Uh, there is kind of a loose knit community on Tumblr to the extent that you can have a community on Tumblr. There are uh, there are private websites like uh, the Conlangers Bulletin Board. There's Frathwiki. There's everything. There's tons of stuff. Tons hey. of places where people can go. In your book, you talk about how language um, learning for languages that are created has just boomed over recent years. And how before it would just be like an episode, it would air on TV, but now if that episode airs and re-airs. Yeah. Have you had people that has come up to you and spoke Dothraki or some of your other languages? Oh yeah, yeah, I know, all the time. There, there are some people that are pretty good. There, there, are, there are a couple people that are really good with Dothraki. A couple of people that are really, really good with High Valyrian, um, and then a number of people that are getting good with Tree Getter Slang from uh, from the 100. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's 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 a strange world for for somebody who knew the, the old Conlanging world, and the extent that you know nobody nobody talked about it. Like uh, I mean, other Conlangers knew each other, but but nobody outside of that world you know knew it. And now it's like everybody's doing and talking about it. It's really, really weird to live in this world now. It's pretty cool. It's yeah. really cool. Yeah. So there are, there are lots of, of resources available for people who want to learn languages. There are resources available for people who want to create languages. You, you've created several languages. You've been in Conlanging for a while. In your panel, someone asked you, you know, what is the favorite Conlang that you created for TV? But I want to widen it. What's your favorite language that you created in general? Oh, in general. I mean, first of all, that one's that one's near the top. Raytheon from Defiance is definitely near the top. I absolutely love it. But uh, probably probably the language that's that's closest to me is a language called uh, Kamakawi. It was. Uh, I mean, it started off kind of weird. It was it was uh, my uh, my obsession because my favorite language is Hawaiian, 
um, and I couldn't find a lot of resources on it. So it, was, it started off as kind of like me trying to build a language that was reminiscent of Hawaiian, but then it just kept growing and growing. And now it's, um, it's, it's my biggest non-TV film language. Um, and it's the one that I'm still proudest of the, uh, of the writing system that I did for it. And so uh, I think about it a lot. I haven't worked with it in a long time because I don't have a lot of, uh, a lot of time to work on, on non-TV stuff anymore. But man, I'm, I'm always thinking about it. I'm going to get back to it. That's my favorite. So when you build a language, it's not just spoken, it's written and everything? Oh yeah, I mean, you know, depending. So like, uh, something like Dothraki doesn't have a written form, because the Dothraki aren't supposed to have a written form of their language, and Makes so, sense. It so it doesn't exist. But um, writing systems are my favorite thing. Like I have, like, a, a fourth of this book is devoted to writing systems, and I got to do them for the Defiance languages, which was great. I got to do it for the, uh, the language in Starcross. Which was which was great. Um, and I'm still trying to I still try to convince uh, you know productions to let me do it. But art departments are very uh, territorial and defensive. They don't they don't like it a lot. I usually have to get somebody higher up on my side in order to make it happen. But uh, but seriously, art departments don't don't be like that, man. You know, ask ask anybody who works in the art department defiance. They love me, man. We we worked together. We did stuff. We did good stuff. I don't need to do anything like on, you know, Shinara where they grab random runes and put them up somewhere. Come on, man. That's actually something that came up during the panel and during the talk that, you know, you can't just put random gibberish around and expect yeah. the audience not to find it now. Mm -hmm. um, so if an art department was interested in getting in touch with you, mm. where could they go? Or, or the audience maybe? Just yeah. a general place to find your work and, and maybe be in touch. Uh, well, of course, you can find me on Twitter at, at Daedalus. Um, basically, that's my little handle, D-E-D-A-L-V-S. Uh, and so if you type that in, you can get to me somewhere. I'm Daedalus on Twitter. I'm Daedalus at, uh, at Tumblr. Uh, my website is artoflanguageinvention.com. You can find me that way, or you just put David Peterson Game of Thrones in there, you'll find me on Google. I'm easily reachable. Easy to find just Googling his name, absolutely. We'd like to thank David yeah. for being caught in the crossfire today. Absolutely. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure having you. Thanks for having me. All right, you're very welcome.